How's it going, everybody? It's your boy Sanity here. So I never thought that I would end up getting a, well, comment response, at least, from the guy who ended up uh, having this to say in regards to Elden Ring. Um, yeah! 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 And while he did, in fact, make, well, another review about, like, a month after he had made that previous review where all he was doing was just screaming and getting everything about Elden Ring wrong, I did take a look at that review, and it was more or less just the exact same thing, except it was more level level-headed, and it only took me about three minutes to start sounding like a broken record again, so that's why I didn't really bother to even take a look at that one, because it was more or less just more of the same. But of course he ended up leaving some comments on my video, which I'm genuinely surprised by. I'm surprised that he didn't come across this video a fucking year later and then decided to finally start commenting. At least he's faster in terms of commenting than he is on actually getting to any kind of, like, you know, drama. After all, as of recording this, one of his most recent videos is about the fucking <laughs> is about the fucking bean sprout video, where he was getting everything wrong about the fucking marksman. Which was something that, I shit you not, I believe I made a video about this in which I can literally date this. Hang on. It is another situation in which it was pretty much resolved about a fucking year ago, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised that he is now only now covering the Beansprout video. And I can expect that if he does make a video response to me, then it's probably going to come out at least at some point around 2025 or so. But of course he has left a good amount of comments, basically doubling down on his stupid takes and really just getting every single thing wrong once again. And of course he has left a few comments on, well, the initial video on him, as well as my community post after he started leaving a bunch of comments on that video. And in which I basically make a mockery out of him. And I might as well start off with the community post first, because as of recording, there isn't really nearly as many comments on the community post yet, which I'm not really too surprised by. So let's just get started here. Here we have this guy stating, Oh, look on the bright side, at least he didn't take down your video, but yeah, this guy seems butthurt. And then Terragon comes in and says, I wouldn't do crazy bullcrap like that. I'd rather make a response video. What do you people take me for? He took my video out of context. What's with you people always assuming stuff? My brother in Christ, I didn't take your video out of context. I literally was only able to like take a look at like maybe the first what like four minutes or so within my initial video and then I covered the rest of it on a live stream so if you're gonna be using the whole out of context thing then you're surely mistaken what do you mean out of fucking context the full context was there in the entire video if there was anything cut out it was more or less just you repeating shit or just points that just didn't make fucking sense in the first place and then of course there's this other comment from you know good old-fashioned Warren here stating pathetic only a coward would pull a stunt like this instead of making a rebuttal and of course Terragon says I'm working on on both currently, be patient. I don't even know what he means by both, that just doesn't make any fucking sense, but once again, uh, yeah, take your sweet time, after all I know it's gonna take a fucking while, isn't it? And of course Warren just, uh, comes back by stating, qu then quit wasting your time being a reply guy and get on with making the video and quit trying to false strike sanity while you're at it, or are you truly so desperate that you're willing to potentially sacrifice your own channel for a cheap one-up on someone? I will in fact admit, maybe Warren kind of jumped the gun here, he wasn't like trying to false strike my channel, he was just making a bunch of stupid fucking comments. But of course, it doesn't exactly end there, after all, it just keeps going. But this is, of course, his comments on my original video. And of course, we have this initial comment here, which is someone letting me know that apparently you can actually just completely bypass Stormville Castle entirely, which I genuinely didn't even fucking know about. I thought that Godric was required for you to actually progress, but here I am, looking like a fucking idiot. I'm still gonna go through Stormville Castle, though. I mean, I actually have a decent amount of fun with Stormville Castle, oddly enough. So, you know, some useful information, and it just kind of goes back and forth with, you know, this guy letting me know, hey, there's a secret path that you can take that goes around Stormville and you can get to Liernia without having to deal with Godric, and, you know, it's just some useful information. But then Terragon comes in and says, that's insane! If only the game would utilize its open world for more than just fighting like a linear action game. Which, uh, literally this entire comment thread is literally talking about just that. The fact that you can literally bypass something entirely. <laughs> But of course, it just keeps on going here. The guy who left the initial comment says, Sorry, have you played a Souls-like before? Combat, exploration, and the occasional puzzle is what you signed up for. What else would you have them do? A bunch of random minigames that no one plays? Fishing, cards, races, etc.? I mean, again, he seems to really want uh, fucking Souls-likes to be, well, at least according to the video that I took a look at, 
Um, he seems to want them to be like Skyrim or Oblivion, and I wouldn't be surprised if he wants a fucking Souls-like game to be like fucking Ultra Kill. I genuinely wouldn't be surprised by that. Jesus Christ, we're dealing with like a reverse under the mayo at this goddamn point. Instead of uh, wanting Ultra Kill to be like Doom, he's wanting fucking Elden Ring to be like Ultra Kill. Then suddenly, uh, for some reason, Tarragon just brings up Rockstar for literally no reason by stating, Rockstar actually innovated in their open world design, unlike a certain game which just did the exact same stuff you do in a linear action game. Have you played Red Dead 2? I'm sorry, I guess you haven't seen what happened when you assume stuff. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, grammar mistakes in that one, and I don't feel like pointing them out here. But, like, who the fuck brought up Rockstar? What does Rockstar have to do with this conversation? Like, he's just bringing up Rockstar and Red Dead Redemption 2, and here's the thing. It doesn't matter because Red Dead Redemption 2 is a completely different ball game in comparison to Elden Ring. They're two fundamentally different fucking genres. The only common thing that they share is that they take place in an open world, or at least I think so. I haven't played Red Dead 2, so if there is anyone that's like a Red Dead 2 expert, then please let me know. So of course, you know, another reply from the main guy here stating, and who said I was talking about Red Dead Redemption 2? I was referring to Assassin's Creed, Far Cry, Watch Dogs, you're the one assuming here. Also, Rockstar, yeah, the massive company who's known for making open worlds, no shit, Brainiac. How many open worlds has FromSoft made? One, and it's an absolute masterpiece in every way. The environment, the story and lore, the combat, the exploration, the music. Cry more. Elden Ring is god tier, and for your information, I have tried Red Dead Redemption 2, and I didn't like it. Not to say it's bad, it's just not my cup of tea. Which is, of course, you know, a very, very uh, level-headed statement. Just simply stating, yeah, I've tried the game, it's just not my personal cup of tea, and I don't think it's objectively bad because of it. Meanwhile, people like Terragon, who just don't like Elden Ring, seem to think that just because they don't like it, then that means it's objectively bad, and it's a, and it's like one of the wonders of the world as to why people even enjoy it. So, of course, Terragon ends up completely misconstruing the entire argument by stating, See how you didn't like Red Dead 2? Well, I didn't like Elden Ring, so I have a right to critique it. So what if I wanted... what... So what if I... So, ugh. so what if I ranted? What matters is my critique of the I had issues with it, like you had issues with Red Dead 2. Jesus fucking Christ, can you learn how to English properly, dude? Learn how to fucking spoken. And of course, you know, I leave my own comment here, which is just me stating, your problems of Elden Ring come from either willingly or unintentionally ignoring everything Elden Ring does and just saying X did it better, therefore Elden Ring bad. Which is basically one part of his argument, and of course the other part of his argument is, oh, Elden Ring isn't my cup of tea, so therefore it's objectively terrible and no one should like it. But of course, Tarragon once again comes in with a nice smooth brain take here stating, Oh, Red Dead did do it better, and I was hating on the game prior to release, only to get it and realize it does open world better than most open worlds ever made, including Elden Ring, since I can actually interact with it unlike some linear action games. You literally, you can interact with the open world in Elden Ring. It's just that you, I guess, chose not to? I, I really have nothing else to say other than just, you're just fucking stupid. And then, of course, you know, uh, the first guy comes in stating, If your reason is it's not my vibe, then yeah, I'd respect that. But since you chose to scream and scream about shit you clearly didn't understand for like 10 minutes, I feel no need to respect your opinions. Those in a glass house should not throw stones. After you made that video, do you expect anyone to take you seriously? Which is, of course, a pretty reasonable take right there. And then, of course, you know, I once again leave a comment in response to the first guy stating, Unironically true, just because it's not your type doesn't mean it's objectively bad or it isn't revolutionary beyond your surface level understanding understanding of said game. I'm no fan of Destiny 2, but even I can understand why people can get sucked into it. And of course, suddenly, he just comes in saying, Destiny 2 is greedy, Elden Ring is not revolutionary, it's just an action game like other FromSoft games, except how, how the, now the environment is more open and that's basically how the, how in the world people saw that as ground do you know, do you know grammar? D have you heard of grammar? No, I'm not talking about your grandma, I'm talking about grammar, fuckwit. But of course, here is the beginning of him, for some reason, deciding to call Elden Ring an action game, when, first of all, action game isn't really a fucking game genre. I can only assume that he's, like, trying to compare it to games like Devil May Cry or something along those lines, which is just a stupid fucking comparison, mind you. But, like, here's the thing, okay, if you're gonna be playing Elden Ring like Devil May Cry, or if you're gonna be trying to compare Elden Ring to Devil May Cry, or assume that that Elden Ring is like Devil May Cry, then of course your opinion is going to be very fucking stupid, and of course you're not going to enjoy it, because Elden Ring is a Souls game, not not a fucking character action game, dumbass. In which, you know, I pretty much just state that, but even shorter, by stating Elden Ring isn't an action game, it's a fantasy open world RPG Souls game. And then he just decides to completely ignore that and state, It is an action game, the majority of what you do is action based. Which of course just, still to this day, still even as of recording this, it just doesn't make any 
fucking sense to me. I don't understand it, and I just simply replied to such by saying, bro, what are you smoking? But now we get into another comment thread involving Tarragon, in which, you know, someone states, I like how he specifically mentions Dark Souls, Sekiro, and Bloodborne as all having the same combat as Elden Ring, when all of them have distinctly different systems and styles them out. The only thing that they share is having a lock-on. And of course, I make just a light jab stating, a lock-on that he refuses to use for whatever reason. And then Tarragon comes in and says, no, they are fundamentally the same. That goes for all from software Dark Souls titles, which is just completely fucking wrong. Dark Souls has a completely different fucking combat style in comparison to Elden Ring. Sekiro has a wildly different combat system in comparison to really every other Soulsborne game, mind you. And Bloodborne, I feel like I don't have to explain why Bloodborne is absolutely insane in terms of its combat style. All of these different types of games, well, yes, they have some similarities, are not fundamentally the same. But of course, you know, I just state, you're just objectively wrong. Either you're lying about playing any other FromSoft games, or you're intentionally playing dumb. Tarragon then replies, uh, Bro, I did play those games. I don't care if they're all really similar or too similar. The fact is that you can't take a differing perspective so much that you claim people are lying is hilarious. All of those are certainly words, but the way they formatted them made them come out as complete fucking gibberish. Like, quite literally, my only assumption could either be you're just lying, or you're just really stupid. Like, those are the only two assumptions I, that I could probably come up with as to why you think that all of these different games have the exact same combat style, apparently. And then he responds again by saying, Because I didn't need a lock-on for action games, I love playing without the lock-on. I save it for emergencies because it helps me play better. Again, Elden Ring isn't a fucking action game. No wonder you're not having fun with the game. Which is pretty much what I said. I just simply stated, well, that explains why you're not good, because you're playing a Souls game like it's DMC. And then he just replies, I played the Souls games like it's DMC. I play it like a Souls. I wish it was much like DMC that it had more complex combat system with different attack moves, so once again, you're getting stuff way off. I don't know how I got my stuff way off. That was the only thing I could really assume by you calling Dark Souls an action game. Dark Souls or whatever the fuck else, Elden Ring, they're not action games, whatever the fuck that actually means. They're Souls games. They're very fundamentally different from an action game. Like, it doesn't really have any extremely flashy movesets, mainly because it doesn't really need to, and that's not really the vibe that's trying to go for. Listen, if you're looking for something that's more like a character action game that's more of like in the Soulsborne series, Go play fucking Sekiro. Oh wait, you apparently have played Sekiro, and I'm assuming you just didn't like it because, uh, reasons, I guess. I mean, let's put it this way, it's just kind of funny that he is this fucking butt hurt over me calling him out for being intentionally stupid about fucking Elden Ring. But, uh, yeah, that's basically it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like, that's very well appreciated. Leave a comment down below what you thought about the video, what you want me to talk about next, and also subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want to see more content such as this. Also, go ahead and follow me on Twitter, and go ahead and join the Discord server down below if you feel like doing so. And yeah, anyways guys, this has been Sandy, and have yourselves a nice day.